The list on the ballot paper in Russian presidential election will not be long and will include representatives of parliamentary parties and one or two other candidates, a source close to a Putin administration told journalists. The main common feature of all current Russian presidential candidates is their exclusive loyalty to the dictator. You have to understand that the list of people that will be on the ballot, there will only be those that they absolutely pose no threat, those who will not go behind the flags, only people like that. So if they believe that the liberal candidate will not cross the line, they can let him. 55-year-old Leonid Slutsky will run for president as a leader of the Liberal Democratic Party of Russia. He is an ardent supporter of Putin and the Russian war against Ukraine. Slutsky took over the party after the death of previous leader. In 2018, three female journalists at once accused the politician of harassment. Slutsky behaves like an absolute animal in relation to young ladies. He has been caught on this many times. This is one of the only things he is famous for in Russia. In general, he doesn't have any other political victories. 75-year-old Nikolai Kharitonov is also running for the pseudo-elections from the Communist Party. He was already a candidate in 2004 and won just over 13 percent of vote. Now Kharitonov has declared that he will not criticize Putin in any way. Vladislav Davankov, who is running from the New People Party, also publicly refused to criticize the head of the Kremlin. They won't even look democratic, nobody will believe it. You see, the thing is that even these people themselves say that they are not running for president of the Russian Federation, which is very interesting. They all say that Putin, of course, is better. So this election is an amazing choice, but this is not the first time that this has happened. The Central Election Commission of Russia has refused to register the initiative group nominating journalist Yekaterina Dunsova for the presidential election. It said it had found a number of errors in her documents. Davtsova promised to appear to the court against the commission's decision. Today we will appeal to the Supreme Court, appeal the decision of the Central Election Commission, as this decision is not based on the law. All grounds for refusal are given in the law on the election of the President of Russia, and none of the listed shortcomings are such. Ekaterina Donsova, Russian journalist on Telegram. For the first time in the country's history, the election will be over three days, from March 15th to 17th, 2024. The Kremlin has said that pseudo-elections will also be held in the Russian-occupied territories of Ukraine. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Bil, UATV News.